Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer at Cumulus Media in Westwood One. And just last week, Nielsen released its annual Audio Today study. Here are the five things you need to know. Published annually, Nielsen's Audio Today study is one of the definitive studies on the state of American audio, including podcasting, streaming, satellite, and AM, FM radio. And there are really five key takeaways or key findings uh, from the study that was released last week. Uh, number one, and the same key finding for the last eight years, is that when you look at the major media like linear television, streaming, uh, you look at major devices like smartphone, tablet, uh, PCs, et cetera. Nielsen, for the last eight years, has found that AM, FM radio is America's number one mass reach media. 93% of 18 plus Americans reach monthly. But what about in the younger demos? What about 1834? Well, surprisingly, with the exception of smartphones, AM FM is a 87 monthly reach among 1834, decisively beating TV 87% to 80%. Among American 3549, AM FM is number one in monthly reach. Now, if we take a look at the key ethnic groups of African Americans and Hispanics, we see very much the same story. Among African Americans, 1834, AM FM is number one. Among African Americans, 3549, it is very close, a point away from linear television. Among Hispanics, it's not even close. AM FM crushes television among Hispanics. Among 1834 Hispanics, AM FM crushes TV 93% to 79%. That's pretty amazing. Among 18 to 34 Hispanics, one out of five are not reached by linear TV in a month. Shifting to 3549 Hispanics, again, AM FM crushes TV 98% monthly reach to 89%. So why is reach so important for marketers? According to a Nielsen study, which examined 500 advertising campaigns and the sales drivers and the sales effect of these cross-platform campaigns across a whole variety of brands and categories, the two biggest sales drivers are creative and reach. And in fact, reach trumps targeting Two and a half to one, 22% of sales effect comes from reach. Only 9% comes from targeting. So reach generates twice, two and a half times actually as much sales as targeting. Reach is crucial for the two major jobs that marketers have. Marketers need to do two things, convert existing demand and then create future demand. So converting existing demand is making sure that we're advertising to that small group of consumers who are in market and they're ready to buy. The second important job is creating future demand. Now that is advertising to a much larger group of consumers. They're not in market, not ready to buy, but will be in the future. And we need to make them familiar and positive toward our brand so they'll gravitate to us when they enter the category. Now, these two important jobs have very different media and creative strategies. So for converting existing demand, it's about tight targeting and copy that is rational, promotional, deal-oriented, product and price focus, very persuasive. Creating future demand is very different. It's about mass reach, going after all category buyers, broad audiences. From a creative standpoint, it's about being emotional, making people feel something, being memorable, standing out, being humorous, getting noticed, creating positive memories of our brand so that we'll become known before we're needed and so we can influence uh, purchase decisions. Now, 
second major finding from the Nielsen study is that AM FM radio is the center of the audio universe. To the right there, in a month, AM FM reaches 93% of Americans. Only 6% are those that are only listening to streaming podcast or satellite. So AM FM's reach is 16 times bigger than those that are only listening to digital audio. So you cannot check the box on audio without making a major AM FM buy to really get reach and scale. The same story occurs with 1834, where AM FM's 1834 audience is seven times bigger than those that are only listening to digital audio. And we see very much the same story with uh, 35 to 49 year olds. So major point number three, location of listening, two thirds of all AM FM radio listening occurs away from home on the path to purchase. So 65% of all time spent with AM FM is occurring out of home, in car, at work, some other place. And what about Pandora and Spotify? They are just the mirror opposite. Most Pandora and Spotify listening occurs at home. 66% of all time spent occurs at home, according to Edison's share of ear. So it's a very different use case with at home listening. It's chill out music, it's relaxing, it's lean back, it's softly playing in the other room. It's not very audible and people aren't really attentive to the streaming ads at home. Well, radio on the other hand has more talk, news, weather, traffic, sports, more lean in, People are more attentive, and the audio is actually more audible. Now, when Nielsen broke out the location of listening for car, work, home, across major day parts like full week, working weekday, weekday drive times, and weekends, you'll notice in dark blue, car, light blue is work, and gray is the home. And notice that in car is in the mid-40s, for share of time spent basically throughout the entire work week, eat during the working weekday, in drive times, even on the weekends, almost half of all radio listening in America occurs uh, in the car. Work is about 20% during the week. Home is about a third during the week, more so on the weekend. Now, the next major focus in Nielsen's study is about getting out and about and then making major purchases. So this is the getting out and about page from their March national study. The gray represents America, the dark blue represents AM and FM listeners, and the light blue represents podcast listeners. So this is just getting out of the house, getting on an airplane, going to work, attending a concert, outdoor event, et cetera. Across the board, audio listeners are more likely to get out and about than the total US. So this really ties into the fact that audio listeners are much more active than the average American. Now, what about making major purchases like air travel or a major appliance, buying a car, major home improvement project, a landscaping project, buying financial products or services, or buying a new house? So across the top from left to right, you have the percent of total Americans from Nielsen's March study that say they're gonna do this major purchase in the next 12 months. Then you have heavy TV viewers, heavy radio listeners, and then heavy podcast listeners. Across the board, heavy TV viewers are less likely to make major purchases. Think of your grandparents, okay? You know, they've done all their major purchasing 20 years ago. So the heavy TV viewer really is not in market for major purchases, way below the US average. On the other hand, audio listeners, way more likely to doing those major purchases because they're younger, they have kids, both parents are working. So if you want to reach consumers that are gonna be in market for major purchases, you need to be in audio. Now, lastly, Nielsen focused on demo targeting. Now, demo targeting TV is difficult. You have to do it at the show level. Uh, it gets quite cumbersome. And the challenge, of course, is no matter how you buy TV, the median age of your buy is gonna be mostly 60 plus. But in radio, we have these radio programming formats that just 
focus on a particular demo. And these stations do only that format. So a all sports station, that's all they do. All classic rock, it's all they do. So demo targeting is a lot easier in radio if you're looking for the mature upscale uh, major purchase demo. You will find that on all news, news talk, classic hits, oldies, classic rock, etc. If you're looking at middle age formats, you've got rock, adult hits, uh, Spanish formats. And then if you're looking for the very younger formats, you've got various flavors of top 40, contemporary hit radio, uh, hip hop, etc. So very easy to find the right audience on AM FM radio. So the key takeaways here from Nielsen's audio today, AM FM is America's number one mass reach media overall. 1834, 3549, significant reach among African Americans and Hispanics, and it's the center of the audio universe with an audience that is six time, 16 times bigger than folks that are only listening to digital audio and satellite radio. Huge amount of listening that takes place on AM FM is away from home, totally the opposite of Pandora and Spotify, which occurs mostly at home, background music, hard to hear the words, uh, kind of lean back where AM, FM, lean forward, a lot more spoken word, news, weather, traffic, sports. That means people can hear your ads and the consumers are way more attentive. When we looked at getting out and about or making major purchases, audio listeners are by far more likely to make those major purchases. And no matter what your demo target, there's an AM, FM format that delivers your ideal audience. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One advises national brands with media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services that measure the sales effect and brand lift for the entire audio campaign. Each week, we publish a brand new audio insight like the one you just saw, and you can find it on our blog, cumulusmedia.com or westwoodone.com. And this week, we have a link so that you can download the total uh, Nielsen Audio Today study uh, in the original form from Nielsen. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through the five key takeaways from Nielsen's Audio Today study. Thanks so very much.